Hello everyone, Finn here once again, and this is Star Sector, Whiskey Tango. So last time we had gone out and done some exploring as well as tried to set up a bunch of our colonies. We're kind of rushing to get them set up at this point because once they are we can renounce our commission with the hedge money and go on to Tritachion or something else. Now there is the uh, whole point of we need to get our faction back up with Tritachion. And the easiest way to do that is with bounties. Well, there's no bounties for Tritachion at the moment. So, <clears throat> let's go do trading instead. So we know that Calcedon wants a lot of stuff. This is Whiskey Primus. And so they want... Let's actually put these away first. Okay, so Whiskey Primus wants... Well, not whiskey permits, but they want. Where's Karas and Thul? Okay, so Thul's not willing to pay a lot for it, but Chalcedon is, and by the time we hit Umbra, that's pretty low, but we'll still do it. No, oh, yeah, we can't really afford much here because of the pirates. And. Oh, wait, that's right. Never mind. Let's leave that. Let's go ahead and sort up here. And oh that's right. The everything from the tech mining is going into storage. That's what's going on. Do we get any extra outdoors? No. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's just get ourselves two thousand let's just grab three thousand supplies, all the fuel. We need about three thousand crew. So we'll just get 3,000 crew. Lytic Path and Epiphany both, they're going to want about 1,000 marines, so let's go ahead and get 1,000 marines. What else? So we'll want 150 of these heavy machineries. No one really wants those. Castle Dawn wants 100 of these. <clears throat> Epiphany wants about 400 of these, and who wants some harvest organs? No one. No deficits anywhere. Nova Maxios wants a lot of these, but not for a price that I'm willing to pay. And Sindria wants that for a premium. Okay, so this is all we have, so we're just. No! <laughs> Last! Let's take this to. 3,000 again. Let's take all the fuel. We want 3,000 employees. We want 1,000 marines. We want 150 of these. 100 of these. 400 of these. And then we are good to go. Let's go. 50. Okay. So let's go to Calcedon. Then we will make our way over to Epiphany. So off we go into the Great Beyond and let's see what we can do. Okay, so the Independents are off. They want the pirate base taken care of. We don't really care. Let's see, the hedge money, they really like their fuel. Okay, well, they want some of us, but uh, we don't want them. So, let's make our way to Calcedon. Sindria will go there after Calcedon and Epiphany. Arcadia, very nice. We can go there and kill a bunch of pirates. So, let's keep the transponder off as we make our way to Calcedon, otherwise they won't trade with us and see what we can find. Okay, so let's trade those, them, none of that, and that. Let's hire some extra crew, and there doesn't seem to be anything here that we can't just build on our own. So what about ships? <clears throat> no ships that we're really interested in. So let's go to Mama Jack. Let's go to Epiphany and see what we can get over there. 
Okay, so off we go to Epiphany. And I hope we won't have any problems getting there. Blast. And let's see what we can do. Let's get the transponder off. And let's continue to fund the religious terrorists. Okay, pirates going after the hegemony. That works for us. Alright, we want to sell them these, some of them, and a lot of that. Next, let's make our way to Umbra. <clears throat> Actually, let's go to Majek. We want to hit up the Contos Den, Tibicina, and Nova Maxios. We're going to go Nova Maxios, then. <coughs> we're, going to, we're going to go Nova Maxios, then the Contos Den, and finally Tibicina. Alright, nice. Empowered activity in Galatia. And we just got some stuff. Okay, that's fine. Um, I want to know what showed up. Um, right, well, I guess I won't have to worry about it. <laughs> Alright, so in we go. Let's turn on our transponder and see what we can get at Nova Maxios. Okay, so we can pick up supplies and fuel, as well as marines, though the marines are a little expensive. The machinery is relatively cheap. The luxury goods are kind of cheap. The heavy armaments are cheaper. Recreational drugs are cheap. Heavy horse organs are a little expensive. And let's... Oh, these are a little cheap. Let's go to the Contos Den and see what we can buy or sell them. Buy from or sell to. If we're lucky, we won't have any problems. There won't be something big waiting for us. What are you? Oh, okay. So I guess they want some harvest organs? No, doesn't seem it. So we'll take their fuel. Let's take their, let's sell them supplies. Let's buy their fuel. We won't take their marines. Electric goods are cheap. Decorational drugs are cheap. Those are expensive. Those are cheap. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So let's go ahead and make our way over to Tivacina now. And as I think I said in the past, the new patch that's coming when you hit asteroids for going too fast, uh, those will actually damage your ships. So let's turn off our transponder and let's see what we can get from these guys. So the supplies are kind of expensive, the fuel is cheap. Let's see, what can we buy for sell to these people? Buy from or sell to? Horse organs aren't that bad. I don't think I have anything that they're willing to buy, so... Alright. What about fleets? What about ships? Do you have anything that I want to buy? They have a good afflictor, so I'll take that. And they have a good shade as well that has a demod. Don't worry, it'll get more. <laughs> they don't have any dooms for me though, I think I have to be commissioned with them. So we have a mercenary officer who we could hire. He's steady, so we don't want him. And let's go ahead and make our way to Umbra, where we can sell them supplies. Calcedon wants more? Alright then, let's go to Calcedon and then Umbra. Well, they have a nice deficit of fuel, but fuel's kind of expensive right now, so I don't want to power it with it. And Calcedon really wants that heavy weaponry. Okay, Citadel is willing to pay a lot for a lot of this stuff, actually. Okay, so what kind of heavy armaments can I buy from you guys? So we have 120, we want 80. 
so we can satisfy Calcedon. So Calcedon wants that, they want this, they don't want crew, but they do want supplies, so what else does Calcedon want? They want 200 uh, of these. We'll just buy 50 more. Okay, what about this? Does Calcedon want none? Calcedon wants 200 of these. We'll take all of that. Is there a food shortage on Calcedon? Oh, there is, but not enough of one for me to pay for it. Okay, <clears throat> so let's go to Calcedon. Sell this stuff for a nice, healthy profit. And, uh, yeah. There we go. Let's turn on our transponder, so hopefully their security forces don't come after us. We slip out of the system, and let's see what we can do. Alright. So what I should do at some point is put a uh, system in a black hole. Well, and then I should put a colony in a black hole colony. Because <laughs> the AI loves to fly into black holes and get stuck there. <laughs> oh no, the Lodic Church. They hate us. Whatever shall we do? Okay, so there might be a traitor coming in. I'd want to beat them here if I can. Oh, right. So I can sell all this stuff to them. Yes, there we go. Nice. Well, nice. And nice. This is nice and expensive now, but I want to hold on to that. Let's hire more crew while we're here, since they're cheap. All right, sounds good. And what are you? Oh, you're going to Orlando. No, I'll read them. Let's go to Orlando together. <laughs> He's gonna go kill those uh, Ludic Pathers. Okay, so what can we get from you guys? Supplies, fuel, Marines. Luxury goods, heavy armaments, organs, surprisingly, domestic goods. Let's see. Okay, so that, basically. So what is this? Hmm. Gosha. So they have those. I think we have a lot of these at home. So I'm not going to worry about that too much. Let's let's actually, uh, since we have a million credits, let's check up on everything. Everything here looks good. You look good. Star Fortress, Tech Mining, High Command. What's up with this one? Battle Stations. Not a Star Fortress yet. High Command. This one is Orville Station, so let's make that a battle station. And this one's also an Orville Station. Let's upgrade that. Make them all a little beefier. Okay, so we've done we've done all of that. Let's go to Connie real quick. Where we can see what we can get here. Alright, so supplies we can get. Crew is relatively inexpensive. To recreational drugs, drugs are cheap, and uh, I think that's everything that we want to buy from these weird people. So let's go ahead and leave. So we know that recreational drugs sell for quite a bit. That has passed. Their needs have been met. Casadon wants. The rest of these, so I guess we'll go over to. Uh, let's look at Connie real quick. Do you guys have any heavy armaments you can sell me? No. What about Orlando? Do you have any heavy armaments you can 
that you're willing to sell me. You do. But, well, we won't take them. We already bought them from you. Let's go over here and drop off the ones that we have. And uh, yeah, see how things go from there. So, we know they will buy these for a bit of a premium, but not a huge one. Another buy these. Also buy these for a slight profit. No, no. Yes, but not a good profit. Uh, they will buy those for about double. A little over double, so we'll take it. We'll buy that for about two thirds. So, I'm down with that. Let's go ahead and head back to Naraka. And then to Whiskey Primus. And we'll likely... Ah, nice. Zagan. Where is Zagan? Zagan. Alright, let's go over there then and form some faction with the Persian League. Do they hate us yet? No, they're just inhospitable. Oh, well. Let's go and uh, help them be less inhospitable. Okay, well, the pirates are trying to raid Whiskey Primus. Good luck with that. You dudes are all so dead. <laughs> Alright, to Zagan we go. Okay. Okay, so we don't want to fight all of that at once. Let's attack him so he doesn't get away. He does, you know, it is all at once. <laughs> so let's go ahead and engage. We are going to... Okay, we're going to put all of our officers out. Since they're all nice and reckless. We'll have our backup carrier. Oh yeah, we have these. I don't think we've armed them with anything, have we? No, I don't think so. So, let's put this out there. And you, I suppose. And we'll just try to kill as many of the enemy as we can. Let's have someone give me a light escort. So they can at least try to... Okay, okay, no, 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 no. Let's have this one do the light escorting. No, no, no. Let's, have, let's do this. And you... Watch my back. Okay, never mind. <laughs> let's revoke that. Let's have you watch my back. Okay. Cool. <laughs> now let's go ahead and do our full burn. And... Alright. Oh, okay. This is still the old build. So the other carrier is still trying is going to be the bomber carrier so where are the enemy there's one here there seems to be more going there so i assume most of them are going this direction okay so let's see what we can do uh this guy might be really dangerous we'll find out though this carrier is going to be piloted similar to our previous versions just now with the destroyer watching our back. <laughs> he comes flying by. Oh, red light. <laughs> okay, there's the majority of the enemy force. Let's go and kill them. You will be first. Because someone needs to slam into you to win. Okay, 
so now we need to turn around to the enemy. Let's go ahead and focus on him instead. Oh, we're coming for you, buddy. Huh. Die. It's too bad that you cannot run us, no problem. Nope. Crap. I need to move. Is that we need to turn around? dealing with that. So let's actually turn around and fight these guys. We're like it's here. Die. You fools. You will not be able to take me down. Hey, they will be able to take me down. For the next one, then. And let's go see what this one can do. Okay, let's order him to watch our backs. And our Reapers are starting to wane. Okay, our Pictors are starting to have some problems. Okay, so what is this? We have our Pila, we have our Pila, we have our Mjolnir cannons, which I think, yeah, that's what we're going to be using most of the time. So let's go ahead and kill more of these guys. So let's target you and tell the bombers to attack. <laughs> we can hit that blue button without getting too close to the end. Let's trigger him and we're going to go ahead and uh, try to deal with this guy actually. Him. And now let's go ahead and uh, charge them. Nice. <laughs> All that PD gets involved. Okay, so we need to think about these guys potentially withdrawing. So, which of you needs to leave? So, you should leave, you should leave, you should leave. You're doing our right. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. Let's bring in that next Harbinger. So he can do his thing. And now let's go ahead and charge the enemy. Nice. And they are the key thing. Very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and charge the. There can be no survivors here. Let's uh, have a black cannon and start killing all the fighters. <laughs> Just killing them all in mass. 
So <laughs> it's like stay away from my bangers. Alright. Let's go ahead and claim a victory. Let's hurry the retreat. Let's recover our ships that were that were damaged or destroyed and let's start scavenging. So we don't want any of those. Let's go ahead and scavenge until it is unlikely for us to so it is probable, not guaranteed for us to find stuff. Now it's just possible. So we're not going to bother with that. Let's make our way the rest of the way towards where we want to go. So our faction with the Persian League has been ever so slightly improved. Yes. Let's continue going. And uh, yeah, let's find out what we can do here. Okay. So first off, let's repair, then let's see if we can sell our legal drugs are these drugs illegal here that's my question personally yes recreational drugs are legal and is there anything here that wants it not really okay well we'll hold on to what we have so far and yeah, let's not give them a reason to pull us over. So, freelance administrator, what are you good at? Only one. <laughs> so, we're going to make our way over to Mazalot next. Let's go over here, actually. Because we might find more enemies over there. And where are you? Oh, you saw the station is, being, is under attack. You fool! <laughs> Got him. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's go ahead and attack. And I'm actually going to pilot this one into battle and see how that goes. Let's go ahead and throw them in. So, let's see how it goes. These are all piloted right yeah except for that one yeah should be fine let's have you watch my back okay aside from that do what you wish so the pila are all auto fire right what isn't auto fire oh the pila aren't auto are the pila not auto fire Let's change them to be auto fire then, so they actually fire. Okay, let's deal with this guy. Maybe we'll get lucky. Okay, and. Alright, no problem taking out some of their stuff. This buffalo is not going to have good. Shield, so let's just kill that real quick. Very nice. And let's start trying to kill some of these guys. Let's just shotgun it out. What are you doing if you're Let's have our bombers return to us. Okay, we need to be a little cognizant of our shields. Go ahead and vent, and they're running for their lives, so we'll just let them go. Alright, let's harry their retreat, and yeah, there we go. Let's 
consider ship recovery nothing that we want so let's just take everything and let's make our way over here because it seems like there's a battle going on for the tech fleet well let's move to engage them so let's use the ships that we did not use last time I don't think that has anything on it and this one does Okay, let's deploy that and see what that can do. We have these. We have the Tempest, so that one's good. We'll, we'll try deploying to. We'll try this one out. Okay, what is your special? Maneuvering jets. So it helps you, like, turn on a dime, right? Yeah. Also helps you move faster. Okay, so those typhoon, those typhoons, the burst laser. Okay, so this is yeah, incredibly missile dependent by design. Let's go ahead and try to let's have someone take those. Seems as though there's one enemy over here, so the rest are probably coming down that way, I suppose. So yeah, we're gonna want to hit them with sabots first, and then after that. We will hit them with typhoons. Typhoons. Uh, yeah, reapers. So we're going to want to try and kill this guy. Yes, get him. Got him. Nice. Good overkill. <laughs> Did the job. Let's uh, use those swarmers. Get rid of these fighters. Now let's take care of you, Dren Tinder. Seems to fire two of those I like. Kill him, shall we? Uh, yeah, he's targeted. That's not good. That's not good. Maybe I should just stick with dooms and only use dooms. <laughs> okay, let's just send in our carrier. But yeah, I'm actually really interested in seeing what they do with the uh, new skill trees. Because right now, the, the way it kind of feels to play is if you did a lot to make your character really good at combat, that's really what you want to do all the time because you're really good at it. If you didn't, then you're kind of bad at it. <laughs> and uh, it seems odd, I, I suppose, that they'd want to do it that way. But uh, I mean, I can understand where they're coming from. It's just, yeah. It almost feels like your ship sucks unless you're stacked out, unless you're really built to, to fly the ship, which is unfortunate. Okay, let's see. So, let's have these. Let's have him start withdrawing. You probably need to start withdrawing. So let's go and kill off the rest of these guys and see where we can go from there. Okay, 
let's focus on him. As our fighters go to slaughter him. Cool. Alright, who's next? You. Okay, and away we go to try and catch up with these douchebags. So you guys go ahead and engage and kill him. Okay, very nice. Now let's try to go get this guy. Go after this uh, venture next. See what we can do. Get out of the way. Very nice. And the rest of the enemy are running. So let's hurry the retreat. Let's recover some ships. And let's pick through the wreckage. So, we are now negative 10 suspicious. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and... Don't want any of those. And let's see. What? Okay, and let's keep going until it's only probable. My god, like... On. Just make just make it be one button to where when I hit when I hit salvage, I clearly want to just take everything. I mean otherwise I'll just take it later. So just make it to where I can just press one button a lot. Like, let's look at Oblivion. Let, let's look at other video games, okay? I don't need to hit R and then G. I just hit E twice and okay, I looted everything in the crate. Or like E and R or something like that. Just make it towards as one as as one button as possible because if I have too much stuff or I get something I don't want I'll just throw it away. Like it's just annoying. So I have to do all of this stuff. I mean this is fine, now it's probably so we're going to go ahead and pass on and move on. But like Okay, let's leave. Because we don't want to fight that right now. Let's see, we can outpace it no problem. And let's go ahead and repair our ships. And then we can fight them. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in. Let's actually make sure our, our none of our officers are idle first. And then let's jump in. Let's join the battle and let's go. So it seems to be a lot of the enemy. That's fine. Let's go ahead and uh, that one's mine. So let's go ahead and throw a bunch of stuff in. Okay, let's do it. So. Okay, let's go. You protect that one and let's go. But yeah, like, seriously, just try to make it as one button as possible and it should work. Okay, let's go. We need to go in and set those Pila to be auto fire. Okay, and. <laughs> His phase lance is on it, yeah. That can be terrifying. He's gonna get moved, didn't he? <laughs> okay, he's got nice plasma cannons. I like it. Let's go ahead and see if we can get up here. Okay, let's go and start sniping people. 
So he's going to die horribly. Let's see. Let's go ahead and see what we can do about the shuttle. Not immune, but very resistant to missiles. Okay, Lupich. Let's go and kill this guy. Okay, man, yeah, there he goes. Very nice. <laughs> kill this red one. Alright, let's claim victory. Let's let our second in command handle it. With those, ship recovery, don't want any of their stuff. And let's repair our ships. Let's actually uh, look at what we can do here. So we're going to, this sells for effectively 105 supply. Yeah, that'll be worth it to scuttle it. And this one, can we auto fit it to that? No, so we'll just keep it, but not use it. And what about you? You've got some stuff. Let's go ahead and strip. Well, let's not strip it, but let's put this over here. And this thing over there. That also has some stuff. Okay, so over here, what we can refit you to Wa, maybe? Hey, we can. Okay, Wa, well, it is. And so he's decently good. What about you? What can we do for this? Uh, eventually, if we use this, it'll have lots of phase lances and a uh, tachyon lance, be a sniper of sorts. But let's see what we can do right now. So there's the assault, which you know mostly works. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. And then you, we don't have stuff for. What can we actually get on you, though? Looks like Vulcan cannons. Okay. Interesting. This is one of the middle that's a uh, full turret. Nice. Okay, well, we can do some of this at least so we'll do that this one you'll probably end up scuttling but let's move this forward in the stack for the moment and okay I think that's mostly it for those okay so Let's, because the Harbingers are actually really dangerous and the Tempest is super dangerous as well. It has great damage potential. So, okay, let's go with that. Only, choice I, only choices I have. Yeah, nice. So, that's him. And what about you? <laughs> okay, well, uh, let's see. Are there any other officers? No. Well, let's deal with this next part, please. Okay, and there he goes, making bad decisions. Let's join the battle. Let's throw in... Uh, a lot of what we can. Okay, that should be good for our first wave. 
probably shouldn't have sent both carriers in at once, but hey, whatever. And let's go over here and pilot this thing. Alright, let's make our way up to the carrier. Let's make our way up to the station. And let's actually make a point here and let's defend it. Location objective is lost, so it will change to assault. Well, we could put that up here. That would uh, put our ships in between the enemy. So, let's have... Yeah, screw it. Let's let them do what they're gonna do. And we don't need to really worry about it all that much. Oh yeah, let's set that to auto fire. Let's see how fast we can get up here. Okay, so, taking out the enemy, no problem. Very nice. I am looking forward to being able to teleport bombers back continually from the enemy open. Okay, so let's focus our fire on this guy. There's another one that's there. Okay, let's keep shooting him. Let's, yeah, let's try to kill him. Let's target him next. Let's go ahead and vent real quick so that we can get our relux down. Let's bring our shields back up and let's continue trying to kill this guy. Let's try to get too close to him though. We want our bombers to do their jobs and then run. Okay, there goes him. <laughs> it's our destroyer doing his job and destroying things. What's next? Uh, not much. Let's go to this. Let's go to this venture over here. Because the rest of our ships are likely doing work. Okay, so we really just want to kill the enemy here. Nice. Let's go after this mule next. Unlikely that the enemy could. Let's just event while before he gets within range of his torpedoes. Okay, let's And yeah, if we can continually shoot the enemy, then we can really shut them down. Because those Mjolnir blasts have lots of EMP associated with them, which effectively will shut the enemy down and stop them from acting. Okay, so they've suffered some losses, not a lot. They lost part of the station. Alright, let's keep doing what we do here. Oh man, he just committed suicide. Hi, <laughs> Brute. <laughs> okay, so we're next going to bomb um, him. <laughs> this is where it is uh, important because Carton was. We may actually be, uh, I mean, as long as our point defense is going, is working, we may be almost immune to missiles at the moment. Have our 
or well <laughs> several bombers go after this guy. Is there more of the enemy? Are they retreating? They're not retreating. They are now. All right, so let's join the pursuit. Let's let our second in command do it with those and ship recovery. We don't want them. Let's just take everything. And let's see, what can we do here? Let's repair our ships. And let's go to the black market and sell off some stuff we don't want. So we really don't want this. It's just clutter at this point. But we want all the fuel, so what can we buy from you? Supplies and fuel, we'll take it. What about marines? They're cheap. Take it. And what can we hire from you? I think I already talked to this guy, planetary operations. And uh, yeah. What's our faction like with Percy and League? They are neutral to us. Very nice. And he is pursuing the Pirate Armada. Okay, well, let's see what we can find over there. And how are our ships looking? Yeah, we're good. Off we go. And I'm going to jump into this one as my flagship there. Anybody unassigned at the moment? No. Okay, let's go. We have any contacts over here? Yes, there are plenty. There are a lot, actually. Now, we don't want to fight all of this. That would be disastrous for us. We do want this guy to turn around and he's traveling, not uh, not flying officer. Okay, let's try to interdict him. Let's see if we can catch him with sustained burn. All right, we did it. All right, let's go ahead and see what we can do here. We'll take ourselves, two Harbingers, and a bunch of these. That's overkill, but you know what? Better, better uh, overkill than not. Okay. So with this setup, I really don't need to worry about someone giving me point defense. Maybe someone keeping the enemy from getting behind me, though. All right, let's go ahead and charge ahead into the enemy line. No, oh, you fool! <laughs> now let's start attacking him. Let's have them all engaged so they can bomb him. If we're lucky, we will be able to kill him. while we wait for the enemy to die. Now let's go ahead and jump back into it. 
Where do you think you're going? You're not allowed to leave. Get out of that. Die. <laughs> Die. Alright, so they're all getting disabled. They're gonna need um <laughs> they're gonna need uh magic wheelchair items. Uh, I'm pretty sure Wizards, Wizards of the Coast loves their their adventuring battle wheelchair blood. <laughs> Alright, we got it. Oh, those of you who don't know that weapons in, in uh, Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition now, there's a battle wheelchair, so... Um, I think it's disabled people can go and enjoy putting their lives on the line and uh, risking life and limb, potentially being eaten by monsters, so that they can um, be adventurers. Yes. Whereas most sane people are just like, you know what, I'd rather just work my 9 to 5. <laughs> what happens if like you're... So what happens if your healer is in the battle wheelchair? And um, and like your your fighter buddy gets incapacitated, you have to pick him up. Does like does the wheelchair actually? No, I was thinking of something even cooler. So there's in Shadowrun Fifth Edition, there are things called riggers with an R. Um, and riggers, they basically are like the they make the battle wagon. Basically, they make they're, they're the other ones who make this this big armored truck that has like five machine guns on it that shoot the enemy to death. So like, what if instead? The battle wheelchair was like the rigger chair, and instead she just has like this like this predator cannon like come out of the back of it and just murder someone, <laughs> just kill someone. That'd be great. Like she has like this huge like chain gun. <laughs> the battle wheelchair, one of its upgrades. It'd be really cool if it was a Vulcan cannon. It's just a Vulcan cannon from Apache. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> I'd, I'd play a disabled character then be like, this is awesome! <laughs> okay, let's see. There's fighters. Missiles. Okay, so we're gonna go with these for our last one. They're gonna have one point left over that we'll probably put here, I guess? Okay. Anyway, I think that would be really cool. <laughs> the battle wheelchair. Okay, so we've gotten our faction high enough to where we could get a commission with them, with the Parisian League, but we really want a commission with Tritachion, because Tritachion, we can uh, get a lot of. We can get um, an astral out of them. We don't have to salvage it from somewhere. Let's go to Mazalot. Actually, there's lots of pirates down here, so let's just hunt down more pirates. Maybe if we're lucky. Oh no, you poor fool! <laughs> let's kill them. So, let's just swarm them with frigates. And see how well they do. And I'm kind of curious to see how these Harbin... Actually, I'm going to go with the Medusa. Uh, this is probably extreme overkill. I'm going to fly um, this one instead. Which one doesn't have an officer? You don't have an officer, and you don't. So I'm going to go with you. Let's go in, fly it, and kill the enemy. Right. And wait, what are your weapons? You have no weapons. Awesome. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and kill the enemy. I have no weapons. The rest of you have guns, right? Right? Okay. You have guns. So do you. And you. I feel like uh, an army commander that was... Uh, that I heard about that accidentally took a uh, truck out without it 
a truck out that was uh, technically not supposed to be taken out. And then afterwards, of course, he went and took it on a patrol or something. And then he came back later and was like, hey, guess what? You weren't supposed to do that. You could be in a lot of trouble. Unless... <laughs> Okay, so let's take these, so capture, capture, I don't know which one of these is more important, so let's assault both, and I'm over here, so I'm going to go that direction, and I love how this thing turns on a dime, <laughs> it's better it feels that way, but it doesn't really turn all that fast, okay, let's kill you. Let's not get into a bunch of shuttles. So let's help him kill this guy. Very nice. Awesome. Let's go kill more of them. I'm gonna go after this buffalo, see if I can kill him. Because this buffalo has a weakness that I'm aware of. And that's that it doesn't have any PD. So I can just torpedo it with, with no real consequences. And you, you have... Okay, and I know the antimatter blaster has some short range. So let's go ahead and... You fool! Also, uh, this would be a great time for those torpedoes I don't have. Nice. It's like a little slap to the face, like... <laughs> well, I don't think I'll be able to do much to him. So, what is our vic... Come on, guys. <laughs> Let's assault that one. And uh, let's see. We might need to use some bigger ships, actually. Uh, unless the afflictors are really good. They're on some aggressive ships, so I, I imagine they would be pretty decent at killing the enemy. Uh, I would be able to kill those carriers, no problem. Here's lots of bombs that we don't want to get involved in. Oh, what am I doing? Like, I have that shocky thing. I can kill lots of these things, no problem. Like, my entire ship is dedicated to point events. It's literally what it's good at. <laughs> so let's go kill this guy. <laughs> Deflux. Nice. Cody. You will be next. Okay, how's everyone doing? They're all assaulting that. Their combat readiness is decreasing rather sharply, at least the pirate versions are. This is decreasing pretty badly as well. She's doing alright. 
I'm not dueling a Shrike. Let's go to Vince and not give him a chance. but untouchable. very high. I'm waiting for him to try and shoot us with a hammer when we when we vent. Now wait for this to get his shield kind of high and oh darn. It wasn't quite high enough. Let's go ahead and keep him at max out. Get those shields high on him. Okay, so our afflictors are starting to wane very quickly. So he needs to go, you need to go, you need to go, you really need to go. Let's do a direct retreat on you and you should look into leaving. And how am I looking? We're at 49. So we might be able to kill the shrike. It all comes down to just your damage. Because a lot of our damage right now is coming from the shocking damage. Damn it. And yeah, this is like a long drawn out process to kill the Shrike. <laughs> I mean, if we didn't miss, then we'd be fine. But unfortunately, we keep missing. Okay, so I'm probably the only ship on our side that's here now. Here we are. Let's see as much we can do at the moment. Where are all his friends? Oh, they're all up to this Tempest who should look into retreating as well. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Uh, I guess it must be EMP. That could be bad. Continue trying to overload him. That Shrike can move in pretty hard. It looks like he's gonna run for it. Okay, well, let's get out of here. So, this is gonna be a full retreat as well. And uh, yeah, we'll just let him go. What in the world is he coming back? Oh, okay. Never mind. Oh, he must have gotten the impede. So he was going to die. Okay, let's have you move away from the enemy. Because once you get out of a certain range of them, you should be fine. Hmm. 
Okay, let's go ahead and start killing them. Okay. And let's get our speed up so we can escape. Well, that's not good. Okay, and that seems alright. And our combat readiness is probably going to get too low and we might lose the ship. Oh, there, oh, no, no. <laughs> Alright, well, we're not retreating. We're not fully retreated yet. So, you know, just send in more stuff. I don't feel like losing ships. So I'm just going to go pilot the Harbinger. Wait for our flux to go down. Very nice. And let's wait again. Okay, someone's firing missiles over there. Yeah, it's uh, it's very different with uh, without all the skills. Harbingers feel really sluggish. All right, let's kill everything here. Okay, let's charge in, and let's. Are they running yet? They are not. Let's set these to auto fire. I'm not going to target anything so that uh, it targets his fighters. Very nice. Let's just keep killing him. Those enemy fighters can't really do much to us right now, so. Let's speed things up a little bit to. Nice. So I like how the uh, enemy shut back and the, how the enemy fighter absorbed the attack. Let's go ahead and kill him. Nice. And are they running now? And let's see uh, what we can do here. So, are the enemy, is the enemy running yet? They are. Okay, cool. So, let's go ahead and harry the retreats. And let's get that ship back. And let's pick three of the wreckage. Okay, so they like us even more now. Good. <laughs> let's go ahead and salvage everything. Let's salvage. We don't want that. Let's go ahead and salvage more. What else can we get? And now it's just impossible. So we don't even want any of that. But alright guys, it does look like that's gonna be all the time I have for today. So I will see you guys next time. 
go ahead, leave me a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.